Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here, and today we're playing some Domination on Map Strike Zone. Playing some Call of Duty Ghost, of course. Duh. And uh, as you can see, I'm using the AK-12 with the silencer and the grip attachment. Them two attachments just seem to be my favorite attachments because I've tried like using the red dot and the extend mags and everything else, but uh, this just seems to be one of the best. Uh, I've used the muzzle brake as well, but it's just not as good as the silencer because then you can uh, stay off the radars and such, and you guys should all know that by now. Uh, but yeah, anyway, as you can see in the title of this video, get my first chem strike, and I wasn't actually trying for the chem strike this time, it was kind of weird that I got it, and I was playing solo. So maybe that's another reason why, because nobody else is stealing my kills. Because everybody I play with is just too good. And they steal all the kills. Because I am really bad at this game, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, I dropped my KD down from like a 2.5 to 1.5. Literally, it's at 1.50 right now. And I don't... Maybe it wasn't 2.5 before, maybe it was like 2.30. But I don't go by KD. I don't really care for it too much. But it, I'm just saying that it's kind of weird that it dropped down like that. And it's just a different kind of game. Maybe it's because I'm playing cranked too much. I gotta stop doing that. Uh, but and also I did the the challenge where uh, you get two 44 magnums, a cogged, and a kimboed, and you have to get 200 kills with them, or maybe 250 kills. And that uh, gives you a patch that is called Clueless, and it's like a dog that has 3D glasses and a tie on, and it says, "I have no idea what I'm doing," and I just like it. It's funny. Uh, maybe I could put a picture on the screen of it right now and then show you guys that because I thought it was kind of funny and I like it. So maybe you guys will try it and like it also uh, or like it as well. Uh, to get it you have to obviously go in your operations make sure it's selected before you do this because I made the mistake of uh, getting 200 kills before I actually had the operation selected so I had to get the 200 kills twice so I ended up getting 200 kills with the 44 magnums or around 200 kills because I wasn't too sure of how many kills I did get. I probably got more than 400 kills altogether just because I did the 44 magnums a lot before I actually selected it as an operation. And also I have to do the patch again where uh, the one in Cranked where you kill an enemy right before you explode and it's like a unicorn. It's the old last stand uh, icon or emblem thing that you get from Modern Warfare 3 and you go on the last stand and you get a killer, get a certain number of kills or something, I'm not too sure, but it's like a weird unicorn looking thing with a rainbow in the background and a lot of people have it, so I'm sure you guys have seen it already. But I wanted that first, but now that I've gotten this clueless patch that I, I just don't want anything else but this, it's so good, uh, and it's funny, which it kind of reflects me and my personality a little bit, because I, norm I normally don't have an, a, any clue of what I'm doing, so it makes perfect sense for me and that's why I like it uh, but yeah what else did I say did I say I was gonna make uh, I think I said that's in the last video but I was gonna like try and make a loadout video to show you guys what exactly I'm using like all my perks and everything and my special class or my special bonus what I have as my bonus perks or my boner perks whatever you want to call them I think I'm just gonna call them boner perks from now on it just seems appropriate for this game uh, and I don't really know what else to say. Deadeye is a pretty good perk. Uh, if you have this, the AK-12 and the Deadeye perk on uh, with your specialist bonus or just a regular perk, whichever one you want to choose, uh, I chose the specialist bonus perk kind of thing. And uh, it's really good because you get like a one or two shot kill just with this gun, even with the silencer on it. So it works out in your favor. And right there you can see I get the chem strike. It's not the same as the Moab, it just doesn't feel or sound the same, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, I don't really mind too much, I still had a great time playing it, and I was very excited when I actually did get it. And I like how people don't back out yet, so I'm going to enjoy that at the moment while it's still uh, going on, where people aren't backing out for chem strikes, like, oh I'm going to die one more time, oh I'm so sad, I'm going to back out now. Okay, bye. Like. Uh, like they always used to do in Modern Warfare 3, every time I'd get a Moab, like you would see five or maybe the entire enemy team would just back out and if they were at a party or something like that, and it was just kind of funny. Uh, but I keep recording until I die, which I get about another 25 kill streak, I believe. I think I get to like 53 kills or so, and then I end up just skipping the rest because it was pretty slow second half of the game. Or I shouldn't even really say second half because we're already through that first half. And uh, 
Yeah, right now I'm on like a 35 kill streak, which is pretty cool. I think I get on a 45, maybe. Possibly even more than that. Which kind of surprises me because uh, I just noticed right now that I've had this field order the entire game. And normally when I'm playing this game, when I get a field order, I'll die instantly. And I call it the field order curse. Like the second I get a field order, I don't even get to read the field order. I just die because, you know, I have it. And it makes perfect sense, I know. Uh, I think this is happening to like pretty much everybody that I've heard from, but it feels like I'm the main target when I get the field order, is what I'm trying to say. And it's very surprising that I actually got the chem strike with this uh, field order in hand, so it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I actually clip out like a small portion of the gameplay because I die a few more times towards the end and it's just it just gets really slow from this point on so in a few seconds here I just cut out like most of the boring stuff towards the end of the game where I'm just getting a bunch of assists and really nobody's popping up so I can go and kill them really quick so it's kind of sad that I didn't get as many kills as I could have but anyways it was still a good game and still a good first chem strike and with one of my favorite guns and I don't think it's gonna change for quite a while until the accuracy gets patched on it and I think I already said that either in the last video or this video I'm not completely sure but anyways 55 kills and 7 deaths and 4 captures not too good for captures but oh well uh, if you guys enjoyed the video click the like button and I will see you guys next week hopefully and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day see you guys